1972 S. Washington Quarter double struck on ascent planchet. Graded as PR 66 red by NGC. Collar die did not fully deploy during the striking, making coin expand into irregular shape. In God we trust, the date and the mint mark is crisply struck, but the liberty is almost totally absent due to planchet size difference. This elusive error coin weighing 3.2 grams ended up selling for $9,600. 2004 P. Texas State Quarter. Graded in Mint State 69 by PCGS. It highlights an outline of the state with a star superimposed on the outline and the inscription, the Lone Star State. The lariat that encircles the design is symbolic of the cattle and cowboy history of Texas as well as the frontier spirit that tamed the land. As of November 2023 PCGS reported 107 specimens in MS-68 grade with guiding price of $100 with just single finer, this specimen in MS-69 grade. It was sold for $6,750 with buyer's fee. 1939 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1938. A proof issue in PR 68 condition. Grade is endorsed by CAC. Silky smooth surfaces are adorned with beautiful silver rose, powder blue and pale gold iridescence. Uniformly mirrored in finish, with a full strike and the strongest technical merits available in a proof Jefferson Nickel of this date. The 1939 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1938 was produced in a relatively small quantity. Out of the 120 million nickels produced in this year, there were about 10% that had the reverse of the 1938. Out of that 10%, there were 1 in 1,000 that can be found with the full step designation. This rarity fetched a sum of $18,400 at auction. 1960 D Large Date Penny. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. Delightful Rose Red Luster dominates the outward appearance of this coin, although we do note blushes of pale gold tinting in isolated areas at the rims. A fully struck, satin textured superb gem with nary a detracting blemish to report. In 1960 the US Mint struck a large date and a small date variety for the Lincoln cent. For the large date, the nine digit in the date is higher than that of the small date. On the large date the top of the nine digit is significantly higher than the one digit in the date. This large date specimen ended up selling for $8,050. 1964 D Washington quarter in MS 67 condition. According to NGC, a mintage of 700 million quarters was unimaginable just two or three years earlier. In actual fact, the Denver Mint coined only 123,801,308 quarters in 1964, the remainder being struck the following year courtesy of a date freeze. The year of striking is, of course, indistinguishable by looking at the coins. These coins were made carelessly and in a hurry, so finding gems can be a challenge. A generous number have been certified through MS-66, but finer pieces are in short supply and bring strong prices. This MS-67 gem ended up selling for $2,530. 2006 D. North Dakota State Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of November 2023, a state quarter from 2006 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 40 cents. However, on the open market 2006 D quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $2,500. This specimen fetched a sum of $2,799 with buyer's fee. 1965 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime blank. Another transitional error made by U.S. Mint. In 1965, the United States Mint transitioned from using 90% silver in dimes, quarters, and half dollars to a copper nickel clad composition. The planchets for the new clad coins were of a different metal content than the silver planchets. However, some silver planchets remained in the production process and were accidentally used to strike Roosevelt dimes and even Lincoln cents, as in this case. These transitional errors are relatively rare and are sought after by collectors. This rare error coin fetched a sum of $6,600. 1970 D. Kennedy half dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. According to Coin Grading Service, this issue still carries a somewhat more modest premium today. This date was poorly made for the most part, the dies appearing a bit indistinct when new and then being used entirely too long. Gems are not rare, but the certified population grading higher than MS-65 is rather limited. This MS-67 specimen ended up selling for $9,843.75 with buyer's fee. 1999 S. Proof Delaware State Quarter. Graded as PR-70 Deep Cameo by PCGS the highest grade available. The reverse design shows Caesar Rodney's historic horseback ride in 1776 to cast his vote in favor of Delaware signing the Declaration of Independence. According to PCGS, in 1999 the mint struck Delaware proof quarters in a clad version and a 90% silver version. 
The 1999 S Delaware proof silver quarters had a significantly lower mintage than that of the clads. Therefore, making the silver version scarcer as well as more expensive. In PR67 to about PR69 deep cameo the 1999 S Delaware proof silver quarters are common. However, in PR70 deep cameo condition they are scarce and command a significant premium over PR69 deep cameo prices. Attractively toned 1960 D Roosevelt dime. Graded in mint state 67 full bands by PCGS. Brilliant on the reverse, the obverse is ringed in vivid, mottled, reddish russet and sea green peripheral toning. Such richly frosted and smooth, this coin is sure to please even the most discerning Roosevelt dime collector. This low pop dime fetched a sum of $1,495 at auction. 1943 S Walking Liberty half dollar struck on a Peruvian half sol planchet. Graded in mint state 63 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the present coin is ranked number 49 in the 2010 edition of 100 Greatest U.S. Era Coins, where it is noted that only two Walking Liberty half dollars are known struck on foreign planchets. In 1943, the U.S. Mint struck various denominations for Peru, including the brass half sol at San Francisco. Somehow, the planchet made it between half dollar dies. The satiny sun gold and rose red surfaces are unabraded but display minor carbon. FS 101 exhibits die doubling on and God we trust in the sun's rays. It was sold for $21,150. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share and leave a comment. God's will, see you in the next episode.